Problem 18. Rectangle ABCD is inscribed in a semicircle with diameter FE as shown in the figure. Let DA equal 16 and FD equal AE. Um, FD equal AE, which is equal to 9. What is the area of ABCD? So DA is 16. So with this understanding, let's try to deconstruct this shape into um, more manageable shapes. Right? And that's always the way to do it. Because when you deconstruct it into more smaller shapes that you know how to find the area of, um, you can just simply solve it. Now, when I just look at this alone, I already think that the area, the answer is 16 squared, which is 256. I already think it's C, because it's a square, right? It looks very similar to a square. And on the test, I would recommend um, just to do that, because I do believe the answer is C. But just to make sure that you do not make any mistakes, I will just do it the rigorous proof of Y is 256, where we de deconstruct this into triangles and solve it from there. This way, we don't make any incorrect assumptions and do not risk the chance of making a silly mistake or just guessing on a very actually easy question. So this is actually 8 and 8. If I call this to be the center, right? So that must mean the radius is 9 plus 8, which is equal to 17. So in other words, C to this center point right here must also be 17. But this is a right triangle of 8 and 17. So we can solve for this height, right? And that height multiplied by DA will give you the final answer. So this height, I'll call it h, right? h will be equal to the square root of 17 squared minus 8 squared. Now, 17, 17, right, will be 119, 17, so that's equal to the square root of 289 minus 64, which is 225, which is 15. So this height is 15. So what is 15 times 16? Well, that's equal to 90 and 15, and it's 240. Oops, I guess I was wrong. It's not c. It's actually a. And that just goes to show why you should not assume things. Because when the minute you assume it and you make a assumption like this, um, you automatically get yourself wrong. So I was actually wrong. I um, must have looked at the answer key incorrectly. But the answer case is A. So do not just make simple assumptions. This goes to show why. Always draw it out and use established geometric theorems to solve your answer. Never assume.